Right, small mid video. It's about the 17th of December 2019 and I've got caught the bus from Weston to Westbury sub Mendip. It's supposed to clear but I've just climbed up a massive hill from the village. I had a quick look around the church, took the pictures of the Christmas tree but I can't remember if I go through that gate or if I follow up there. Um, I just can't remember. Something tells me I don't go through that one. But it's so unclear. Um, I just can't really remember. I don't want to go off track now. But I can't see where I used to go. I can't remember if it was up there or through here. I don't want to go wandering off, you know, in the wrong place. Not when, not now. Just can't remember. Anyway, I feel like I will go through there, but I don't know if that's the right way, and I might have to come back. And I might even be going back. I might be going back and getting the bus because this is called penetrating mist, and it's getting into my clothes. I've already had to take my jumper, hat, and scarf off, to, and seal them in a carrier bag, ready for later. Because uh, I've got waterproof trousers on, but this Mac will only hold out for a little bit longer. I just can't remember if I go that way or that way. It looks so defined going up there, doesn't it? I'll try this way and see what happens. Second video. On the 17th of December 2019. A week to Christmas. And I've wanted to get up here, now it's not the season of the cow. I was a bit concerned about half an hour ago that the mist, the penetrating mist was going to be too dodgy for me. And that I'd get soaked before I got back to Cheddar, really soaked. I've taken some action. I've taken off my big woolly jumper and my scarf and my hat, my gloves. I've wrapped them in a carrier bag put in my rucksack so that they stay dry for later when I will need them. Basically I'm waterproof, I've got my umbrella up, I've got waterproof trousers, boots are alright, I've got a quilted wax jacket-y type thing on which is getting a bit um, unreliable for heavy rain but I think it'll probably be okay. I'm not cold. My hair is getting that sort of damp feel, where even though I'm under the umbrella, this penetrating mist penetrates. So I look like I've just been out of a shower for about an hour and my hair's still wet. That's what, I look, that's what it feels like. Um, I won't be videoing for long because the camera doesn't like the damp either and it'll play up and I won't be able to do any photos. I've done a few photos in the mist. I've got to look out now for cows. I heard a cow further over about 10 minutes ago. Um, I'm not expecting there to be any cows where I'm going but I'm going to have to be really alert. Um, because it's been mild weather I and mean, it has been wet as well, the grass has grown. Um, it's not too boggy either, so the pretty farmers might keep their cows out. I didn't see any over cheddar when I went there a couple of weeks ago. I managed to do a, a good walk over there. I haven't seen any cow back here, but this is a walk I do about twice a year when it's not the season of the cow for obvious reasons. So from here, I've actually got oh, nine, ten fields to cross. Um, now further down near the pretty area, they have big herds in the summer. They keep them out too early December and they do churn up the soil and it can be extremely boggy. Now the route I'm going to take, after I've gone across about three fields, the route I'll take will be to keep to the high ground and just hope 
that the cows haven't got the same idea. Um, I, uh, although I always worry about getting wet and damp and cold, I do worry about that. It is very mild. It's very mild. There's no wind, that's probably why this mist is staying put for now. So there's no chill factor. And, and also, I want to take photos when there ain't blue sky. It ain't just grey, it's misty. And it, it's like, it gives a completely different feel and atmosphere. I mean, I, I can't wait to be able to do this in the snow as well. I might do shorter walks over towards, not right over here, but Cheddar Way. Take Alberta so I can have immediate change of clothing. I mean, today what I've done, I've uh, I got the butter, see? See, when you've got Alberta, you can have all your backup food, hot water, change of clothing. So as soon as you get back, you can get into... So the thing is, I put on a very big woolly jumper today because it was a cold night. <laughs> what it was, it's, it's a massive jumper for the really cold winter. And having it under here, and I've already got a thermal vest on, then putting this wax jacket thing on top, I was absolutely boiling. So not only did I think about keeping it dry, I thought, get the bloody thing off, I'm baking. <sighs> so that's what I've done, folks. So I'm going to turn off now. In a minute, I'll be coming to a stile, going across a field where they plant stuff ready for the spring. Then I'll be heading across a couple of fields towards the fields that usually have cows in. Um, I just have to hope I spots any large figures in the shape of a cow. I mean earlier when I was coming up that big hill where they do have cows and a bull in the field in the summer the mist paste tricks on your eyes and a dark sheep from a distance looked like a big bull. Um, but I was able to recognise that it wasn't and I was able to progress through that field. So for Sister Sheena on her Somerset adventures, you wouldn't have seen a walk done in these conditions by me, even though I have done this walk many times, videoed it and shared it with you all. What's happening in the world? Let me just briefly say that for some reason, the Tories got a majority, a myth massive one. They took loads and loads of seats of the Labour Party of the Liberals. It was a bit fixed, I reckon, because they knew as soon as the voting had stopped, they already knew the result. Now, how does that work? They call it an exit vote. I think it was very dodgy, but Labour were led into what's called an elephant trap. And by that, they didn't want a general election Labour, really. They were forced into it. They weren't ready. Brexit hadn't really been sorted properly. And they thought it needed more discussion, and I agree with them. Not just being led blind, no proper plans or anything. With deals that are dodgy. Trump people waiting in the wings to pounce on our NHS. I think my Labour friends are relieved we didn't get the election. Because we would have been the ones having to sort it all out in January when we exit Europe. I think we're sitting back now, smiling. My leaders of the Labour Party actually look quite relaxed. Because what a task Boris Johnson's got on his hands. What a trap he's led himself into. He's ambushed himself. He shot himself in the foot. So everyone's all partying, sort of. It ain't been over the top. Because not only have a lot of Labour supporters followed him because they want to get out of Europe, not because they're Tories, because no, none of them are. So that's news to everybody. So I don't feel so bad now, because I actually think losing was a good thing. It could have been called what they say, 
political voting by Labour. Just to, so that we didn't have to be lumbered with this awful thing that Boris Johnson and the Tories have landed us in. So, we can sit back now and see what goes on. Because nothing's changed at the moment. Nothing. Over and out.